Okay, so here we are for lesson two. Yesterday you got to explore Spra Scratch and see what it could do. So now it's kind of time for you to learn what you can do with Scratch. And so again, we're going to open the program and we're going to talk a little bit about the parts of the program. And this is a little bit long, but just hold on because it's necessary. Um, the first thing you need notice is there's this cat. Now in the games it wasn't always there, but when you start Scratch you're going to see a cat and it is called a sprite. Right now, see how this is highlighted? And watch how these numbers change down here in the corner. These numbers change when I move my mouse. If I move my cat, these numbers change. So I can see that. And you'll notice these numbers are called X and Y. X and Y. I move my cat. They move up here, and my mouse moves also because I'm moving my mouse and my cat. But if I move down here, I'm not moving my cat, and all I see is those changes. And that brings us to the next part. I would like you to look at the stage. So the stage is highlighted. Did you see how that changed? I was on the script. I was on the sprite, and I saw scripts, costume, sound, and all of this looked like this. And then I went to stage. I clicked on and it changed completely. I don't see my cat up here. Things change. And this is where I can look at backgrounds. Now if I click on backgrounds, I get a blank white. That's what's there. And if I want to change my background, I can either make a new one, and we're not going to do that today. That's really fun, and we'll try that later. But today, you're just going to go into edit. Oops, I was wrong. You actually are going to go into import. You're going to go into import. And down here, we've been talking about those numbers, X, Y. So here is the X, Y grid. This is not the most exciting background, but once uh, you've used it and learn about it, then you can change. So I'm going to click on that one, and I'm going to say OK. And that puts in this X, Y background. And you'll notice X and Y, if I uh, move my cat, let's say I put my cat right here. If you'll notice, there's a grid, and it says 100 and negative. That minus in front of 100 means a negative. And if you look, this is that point. And if I put my cat there and I click on my sprite, he's pretty close to that. I mean, it's not exact because if I shrink him, I might be able to get him right down to 100 and 100. Um, let's see. Did you see how I did that? I'll teach you that later. Oh, he's getting closer right on that dot. There's my cat. So I can see that Y is 109 and X is negative 96. And that's pretty close to 100 and 100. If I move him around, can I get him right on there? There's 100. Now I think I'm going to move him this way a little bit. Oh, I got him. There he is. 100. X is negative 100. Y is 100. So your first job is actually going to be to import this XY axis as your background and to watch your cat move around on this grid to try to get your cat onto certain numbers and see how they show up here. So I'm going to do that a couple of times. And then you're going to get to go to your seat and do it as well. And I know this isn't the most fun part, but you'll see how it works. So if I take my cat, I know that this is negative 100 and positive 100. So somewhere in the middle should be negative 50 and positive 50, right? So if I move him and I watch, watch, watch my numbers, I'm watching them. Okay, I'm getting really close here on the X. Now I need to move him on the Y, so I probably need to bring him down. See how I'm bringing him down? I got a 50 there. I just got to hold him in the same spot. Oh, I moved him a little bit. I'm pretty close, though. It's not super exact, and I'm probably going to need to move this. Oop, I'm getting too high. See, notice how you have to move your cat to get it to those numbers. Um, so I'm going to give you a set of numbers to try. I'd like you to try the two that I tried, 100 and negative 100. Then I'd like you to try positive 100 and positive 100 and positive 50 and positive 50. Then try 100 and 200. 
just try getting these numbers and getting your cat to do that. Now, one of the things I did is I shrunk my cat. So I'm also going to show you how to do that. Right here, there are a couple tools. These are really easy. You're probably pretty used to them. If I want to make my cat bigger, I pick this one. And there are lots of ways to make your cat bigger and smaller, by the way. This is just one. Or I can shrink it, and I can use this one. It's easier to work with a smaller cat. It's actually easier to work with a dot, but we'll learn how to do that later. So last time, um, I'm looking for you to get these numbers here with your cat to reflect negative 100 and positive 100, positive 100 and positive 100, positive 100 and positive 200. See, if you can do that, in order to do that, you are going to have to import, and we need it to be on the stage. See, see my mistake? Was it there? I need to click on the stage. I need to import the XY grid. So you need to click on that. You need to say OK. And that will put that in your background. I have three of them now here. I don't need that many. But that's what you want. I don't need this one either. I just need this background. So um, look at that. And that's what we're going to start with.